Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, add carousel into your Windows Phone 8.1 project. Uh, so let me show you how it looks like uh, in Windows Phone. Uh, this is how it looks like and we'll be making this in a short while, in a while. So uh, let me start by opening Google Studio. Go to Info Chat, C Shop, uh, Store Apps in Windows Phone 8.1. I'll give it a name as uh, carousel. Okay. So uh, you have to go to this link. Uh, I'll paste this link in the description. Um, it's on GitHub, so you can just download this file. I have already downloaded and extracted it. After you extract it, uh, you will see these files in front of you. Uh, the first one is uh, what we will be adding to our uh, projects. Uh, it has these three classes. The folder is uh, Windows uh, 8.1 uh, sample and the third one is Windows Phone sample. Uh, this sample has all these three uh, uh, projects to all together. So if I open it, you can see uh, we have the portable uh, library. We have Windows 8 sample and Windows 8.1. So uh, what we have to do next is go to the main page. First, we have to add this uh, portable library in our project. So, and just right click on the solution, add existing project, uh, find the extracted folder, go to live store, and click on the project on this file. So you can see now uh, we have live store portable library in our uh, product. Uh, the next step, I will close this file, and go to main page, and open a sample project. We have to add this uh, reference to the controls inside the library. So I just copy this line, and go to our project, paste this in the XAML file. The next step is copying the template. There are two templates, full screen and snap. I just take the full screen template from here and uh, paste it to our project. And close the page of this also. Uh, next, we have to copy the control, live phone control. So I just copy this control and uh, paste it in our phone. Great. Uh, <coughs> we are using template push screen, so I will remove this uh, template. Okay. We are having errors. Uh, we, we didn't reference it. So I will just right click on reference. And reference and go to solution projects. Check this box and click OK. Now all errors are gone. Uh, next step is removing this item source. I'll be doing the bindings from the code behind. So this is now we have to go in the XAML file and go to code. Go to this project. Uh, go to this file called main page with model.cs. Uh, copy this class yeah. in our project and go down before the end bracket paste this class add the uh, reference to bitmap press control dot and add it now we'll create a list of the class which we have added so list of class names data and I'll we'll give it a name my page in our main page uh, this method I'll initialize it. And uh, in on navigator to I'll add item store. So in my item store new data. It has a bit map image and title. Then I'll give it text for now. And bitmap image, we have to make a new bitmap image, new to our eye. And here we have to give it the path to our image. So first I'll add an image in our project. And I'll use another method to add our code in front of us. The code is a method, I'll just copy it. Go to our project. Right click and paste. Here is our image. I need the path to 
which I go to this project to copy a path from here. Paste the path here and change the picture name to what I have added. And uh, the last step is to bind the uh, lightstone control with our data here. So uh, what is name is lightstone element. I call it here. So I stone element dot item source is my address. Let's try and see. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, uh, this is how it looks now. Uh, we just have one image, uh, so it looks kind of weird. Let me add more images. What I'll do, I'll just copy this. And paste it multiple times. So now if I run it, and uh, you'll see the difference. You can see how it looks, and that's all for uh, carousel. Uh, in our next video, we'll be making changes in this carousel. And uh, hope you enjoy this video, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.